Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I love broccoli rabe and pasta. I mean, love, love, love. So, let's cut some of the sturdier ends off of this gorgeous broccoli rabe. And I like to char this on the grill. And then I like to make pasta with lemon and olive oil. And then you know what I like to do? I like to sprinkle it with breadcrumbs. And then I cheese it up and then I eat it. And it's like amazing. Season, salt, hot grill behind me. Keep all the stems in one direction. And yes, I do stack these. And the reason is, is that the char is eventually gonna touch everything. But the fact of the matter is that steamy, yummy heat generated by the juices, the vegetables themselves is gonna help cook the stems and the tips. I'm charring, but I'm also sort of steaming as well. Beautiful charred broccoli rabe rapini. Now I'm actually going to cook off some noodles here and I'm cooking in a large volume of rapidly boiling salted water. The reason that you have a large volume of water is that the pasta itself is just purging starch into that water. As the pasta expands, it's sucking up water, except it's sucking up starchy, gummy pasta water, and that's what makes your pasta not taste good. All right, give yourself four or five ounces of pasta water, and then drain away. And look at how perfect. Lemony, garlicky, herby breadcrumbs. Pasta doesn't get much more basic than this or more delicious. A nice healthy glug of oil, a little salt, pinch of chili flake, thinly sliced garlic. Just think of Goodfellas. I love that moment in that movie where they have the discussion about the thinly sliced garlic. I put the oil into a cold pan. I do not want to burn my garlic. This is in real time. 15 seconds later, it's sizzling. Guess what is gonna prevent my garlic from burning? You got it. Pasta water. Let's cut our broccoli rabe. The moment you see some of those pieces turn, pasta water. Throw in your vegetables. I think our pasta is heated through. I'll turn the heat off. I have cooked olive oil in there with garlic. Now I have some more fresh olive oil. I know I need a little more seasoning. Let's put a little lemon zest on there, a little bit of fresh parm, put some of those breadcrumbs on there. The bitterness of the broccoli rob, the sweetness of the pasta, the olive oil, and that's why I wanted to keep the garlic sweet and not let it burn, those wonderful breadcrumbs. That's as nice a bowl of charred broccoli rob with lemony breadcrumbs as you will find anywhere.